Time now for your forewarn weather with Thomas Keyboy. Good morning, Utah. Happy April 1st. The time is currently 615. It's April 1st and the weather right now in Castle Country not playing any tricks on us. A pretty nice view from Price as we await the sunrise, which is still more than an hour away at this particular point. So looking good across Castle Country. But if you were to make your way up into northern Utah, we are still seeing a few showers and spots, mainly valley rain and mountain snow. Utah State University in Logan, we have some wet streets out there and we also have some wet streets along the Wasatch Front. So while we're not looking at anything too significant, if you're going to be traveling this morning, you still want to factor in some extra time as you head off to work, school, or wherever you need to be. The reason why we've seen rain in Logan is because that temperature has been consistently in the mid to upper 30s throughout most of the morning, along with the Wasatch Front. As we're sitting at 38 in Salt Lake, while it's 31 degrees in Heber and the Wasatch back, 32 degrees in Price, and we're sitting at 44 degrees in St. George, which is currently the warm spot. The reason why we're seeing a few showers in northern Utah is because we still have a system that's currently working its way through. Through the first half of the day, this system is going to lead to a chance for isolated showers across mainly northern Utah. Utah. Then as we go into the second half of the day, as the system slowly works its way down to the southeast, the best chance of wet weather will migrate then into central and southern Utah. Still seeing a few showers in both Salt Lake and Utah counties, but I would say some of that steadier wet weather is currently falling between Box Elder County, Cache County, and up around Rich County. You're out the door forecast along the Wasatch Front. Isolated showers from now through around midday today as temperatures will be warming from the 30s eventually into the low 40s. Then by the heart of the afternoon, we should be in the upper 40s through most of the afternoon as we'll mainly check in with partly cloudy skies at that particular point. Rain jacket through the morning and then probably still want the jacket through the second half of the day. As mentioned by the second half of the day, that best chance of wet weather will then migrate into central and southern Utah. Not only could we see a few showers, but there will also be the potential for a few rumbles of thunder. So don't be necessarily surprised if you hear those rumbles of thunder by the time we move into this afternoon, especially with the daytime heating across the state. Most will see highs in the 40s and 50s. There will be a few spots in northern Utah that see daytime highs in the 30s, while in southernmost Utah, like in Moab, Bluff and down around St. George, there will be a few spots that see daytime highs right around 60 degrees on the Wasatch Front. Daytime highs right around 50 will top out at 39 in Park City, 47 in Heber, and we'll also see daytime highs right around 50 degrees throughout the Uinta Basin. Outside of any wet weather will be breezy at times and you can expect partly to mostly cloudy skies with gradually clearing skies throughout northern Utah. We'll get to 40 in Fairview, 49 in Emory and Castledale and Green River will see daytime highs right around 60 degrees. Then down south it's 48 for Blanding, 52 for Escalante, 41 for Bryce Canyon, 52 in Kanab and St. George is likely to lead the way with that daytime high coming in at 62. Let's begin the future cast and I'll start this at 11 o'clock this morning in the future cast showing that best chance of wet weather by 11 o'clock will mainly be along and south of I-80 with what could be a decent amount of shower activity close to the I-70 corridor. We'll hold on to that chance for showers mainly east of I-15 and throughout central and southern Utah throughout the second half, second part of this afternoon and then by this evening, that's when we'll see our skies begin to clear across the board and I'm thinking by tomorrow, we'll be looking at mostly sunny skies across the state. High pressure will finally begin to build in. Temperatures should be close to where they should be for this time of year for our Tuesday and then as that high pressure continues to influence our weather, winds will be out of the south by the time we move into Wednesday day and daytime highs will be above our seasonal averages. So we're going back on the roller coaster, but now we're going to be going on that upswing. You can see daytime highs will be about five to 10 degrees below average today along the Wasatch front, very close to where we should be for this time of year for our Tuesday. Then daytime highs well above average Wednesday and Thursday with a pretty decent chance that we see low 70s by Thursday along the Wasatch front. But being this time of the year, we all know that changes aren't too far away and it looks like our next cold front will be arriving between Friday and Saturday in St. George. We hold on to that chance for isolated showers through the day today but then Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies. Daytime highs warming through the 70s. All to see that cold front arrive by Friday to Saturday with the chance for isolated showers and highs briefly returning to the 50s. Along the Wasatch Front, isolated showers possible mainly through the first half of the day. Mostly sunny Tuesday and Wednesday should be some beautiful weather. Could be in the low 70s on Thursday. Then we'll bring in our next chance for scattered showers Friday and Saturday with highs potentially dropping all the way to the upper 40s by Saturday.